Hey there, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an approval workflow using Microsoft Power Automate. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the approvals connector in Microsoft Power Automate. And what I'm going to do is I am going to create an approval workflow that triggers whenever a new item is added to this SharePoint online list. So I've created a custom list called time off request. Uh, this list is used to request you know, time off, whether it's vacation time, sick time. And you can see here, I have a few columns, the requester, start and end date for the time off, a reason, the approver, and then a description. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you wanna do is navigate to flow.microsoft.com. And then you wanna go ahead and click on create. And then you want to click on automated cloud flow. This represents a flow that is triggered by a designated event. You'll want to give your flow a name. I'm going to call this time off approval. And then you want to go ahead and select your trigger. In this case, we are going to use the SharePoint online when an item is created trigger. And what this is going to do is, again, whenever an item is added to that SharePoint online list, it is going to trigger the workflow. And you want to go ahead and click Create. And then the first thing that you want to do here in the Flow Designer is select your the SharePoint site that stores the SharePoint online list that you want to use. In this case, it is the Leadership Team SharePoint online site. And then you want to go ahead and select the list in this case, I'm going to use my time off request list. And then you want to click on new step. And in the choose an action box, you will search for approval. And again, in this case, we're going to be using the Microsoft approvals app. And we're going to go ahead and select the start and wait for an approval action. So you want to click on this. Okay, and then the next step is to select your approval type. So you have a few different options here. We're going to go ahead and select approve and reject as there's only one approver in this workflow and the first to respond. And now you'll want to fill out some approval details. Okay, uh, so the first thing that you'll do here is provide a title for your approval. If you click into the title field, you can add static content. So I am going to call this approval time off request for, and you can also click on the add dynamic content button to pipe in some dynamic content from the item that was added to your SharePoint list. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I am going to pipe in the requester display name. Okay. And now the next step is to populate the assigned to field. So this takes an email address as the input. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add from my dynamic content list, the approver email. Okay. Um, and then in the details field, this is where you can actually provide some content to describe what approval is being sought. So I'm going to go ahead and, and add a combination of static and dynamic content. So I'm going to say hello, a time off request was submitted for approval by, and I'm going to select the requester display name. Okay, I'm just going to enter here. Okay, so I've typed the following time off has been requested and I'm going to add in my reason value. This represents what kind of time off is being requested. And I am going to also add my start and end date. Again, these are all fields coming from the SharePoint online item. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to click save. All right, so we've now created our approval workflow and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna test this. So I'm going to click on the test button in the top right corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select manually so that I can perform the trigger myself. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on test. Okay. And now I'm going to go into my SharePoint online list and perform the trigger action. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new item here. 
and I'm going to fill out the requester. So the requester is my colleague, Joni Sherman, and the start date for this vacation request is the 13th and the end date is the 14th and the reason value is vacation. And then the designated approver is me. And I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And if we come back into Power Automate, we can see that this flow is running. We can see that the trigger was invoked. And we can see that this approval was sent. Okay, so that's how to create the approval workflow. Now, where do I go to see approval requests? Well, there's a few different places that you can go. Uh, first and foremost, you can check your email. So reprovals will flow as an email to the approver. So you can see here, I can actually approve or reject this request right from the email by clicking on these buttons. I can enter a comment and click submit. So that's one way to approve these types of requests. You can also do them through the Microsoft Power Automate action items and approvals button. So clicking on this is going to bring up again, any approvals that have been assigned to you. So clicking on it's going to bring up the details. And again, you can choose your response and enter a comment. And you can also access your approval request through Microsoft Teams if you have access to it through the Power Automate app. Clicking on the approvals tab of that app is going to bring up your approval request and clicking on it is going to again, bring up that card where you can select your response, enter a comment and then confirm. Okay. So that is how to create an approval workflow in Microsoft Power Automate. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please like it, please add a comment below. And if you wanna stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Power Automate and SharePoint online tutorials, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, take care.